Hello, my name is Hillary. Today I want to discuss uh, with you about intuition in making business decisions. I know before a manager, a leader, an investor can make a decision about an investment, they'll look at analysis, they'll hire professionals to come and um, uh, divide or analyze the investment portfolio, to come and give statistics, uh, come and do presentation uh, before an investor can make any decision whether to invest in the stocks or to invest in any other investment destination. Uh, people will want to be informed. There's no serious business person that can put their money where they are not sure. So everybody will want to know exactly what to do before they invest their money. So people are looking for information. People will be looking for figures so that they can know the type of risk they are getting into. I've never seen any business person who does not take time to analyze the risks vis-a-vis -vis the return on, on investments. Uh, so they'll hire professionals, accountants, uh, they'll hire uh, investment analysts, they'll get a lot of, of information to project the income that is supposed to accrue to them uh, before they can put their money in any investment. So uh, any person will go through that process. Any informed business person will go through that so that they are sure that before they put their money anywhere, they are going to get returns. However, I've come to realize that um, where we are headed to, there are so many things happening around the world. It is very difficult for you to project what is going to happen in the next 10 years. It's very hard to, for you to project what is going to happen to your business in the next uh, five years. Why? Because it has become unpredictable because of wars, uh, the political landscape, calamities, uh, like what happened, the COVID-19. Uh, COVID uh, when it came, nobody was prepared for it, and yet it affected the way we do business up to today. It brought a change on how people look at business, on how people trade, on how people interact. So what am I trying to say is that nobody can stand and say exactly what is going to happen in the next 10 years. Uh, because in the span of 10 years, a lot will happen that the eye of a human being hasn't picked. So, uh, I want to introduce to you something that can help any business person to know whether they're making the right decision. You have the right numbers. You have the everything with you. You have the figures. You have the right professionals in your business and you want to make a decision yet you don't know. I'll tell every business person or investor or entrepreneur to learn how to use the intuition. Intuition is your, the inner person in you that will be confirming to you whether something is right. I know very uh, successful business people who make the right use of the intuition. If they are about to make a business decision and then they discover in their heart they are not comfortable, uh, um, even if they have the right figures, they have the right, the nod of the professionals around them, they have given them a nod, a green light to proceed, but in their heart, they don't feel like to proceed, they'll tend to obey their inner voice, the intuition. Intuition is what you use whenever you're doing business. Our business partners come to you, you're about to sign a deal with a foreign investor, and then in your intuition, you feel something is not right. It's good for you to follow your heart. Learn to follow your heart in business. Follow your heart in business. It will give you results. Even if you have the right figures, you can find that you have everything right, but uh, when you put your money there, if you make a decision to proceed, something happens that you do not expect, that no professional could pick, yet people have gone into losses, uh, especially those who ignore their intuition. So f follow your heart. If you are about to do a billion dollar deal, a million dollar deal, and then you feel a lot of fear in your heart, sometimes it's good for you to postpone. Give yourself time. Don't rush to invest if your heart has not agreed. So I want you to balance between uh, figures, the nod of professionals, professional information, you have it, and your intuition. And if you are to make a decision between the two things, follow the intuition. Uh, we all have known that 2019, 2020, every business will be shut that people will uh, go on a lockdown. I believe there's some person who made a decision out of figures and they went into losses. And there's a person who made a decision out of uh, the intuition 
and they were able to save a lot of money in their business. What am I trying to say in, in, in summary? I'm teaching uh, business people, investors, entrepreneurs how to balance between professional advice and the intuition in their heart. Uh, they both go together, balance, and you'll find yourself saving a lot of uh, effort, money, and resources. Thank you so much.